scientifically accurate manual. <laughs> is you. This game is... I wish it was better. It's a really good concept for a game. What a wreck it ultimately is, though. I know how to play it. There's a lot of grinding in it. There's some dead end paths that you can take, like the bird actually backfires on you big time. Uh, it would be nice to get a more playable version of this game. This just is an over ambitious, really wish it was better than it is kind of game. It's gonna feel bad giving it the rating that it deserves because it really, it's better than Spore, honestly. Spore is somehow worse than this in terms of fun. Like, Spore has the systems that this game was going for fleshed out, but it did it in a boring way, a very mechanical way. This one has more options, more interesting things going on. It's platformer combat. You can really make a creature here. And you go through the eras with that creature. Which, I mean, if we're comparing it to Spore, Spore doesn't actually do that. Spore just kind of gives up on creature phase pretty fast. You'll be done in an hour, and you'll never design your creature again. You just go into tribes mode at that point, turns into an RTS. Weird choice. Oh, Spore was a super disappointing game. <laughs> like, I didn't really hate the RTS sections that much, but they weren't fleshed out enough to be good. The only part that was, like, actually fleshed out correctly was the space area of it, and that got old pretty quick, too. There's a lot of work to be done in that part of the game. And unfortunately, the, uh, the good parts, the amoeba part, the creature part, you really don't do very much at all. And if you try to play it today, make sure you save often because it crashes all the time. But conceptually, the idea of people's creatures showing up in your world is interesting. Also. It's just that that didn't really mean anything in the game. Like what, you could design a spider monster or a human, it didn't really matter. Uh, before too long, they were effectively the same thing. They'd, everything they did sounded and looked the same. Three billion years. Here comes fish. This game is very pretty. It's silly, though. 
Shouldn't have trusted me. Shouldn't give me the tips. When we kill an enemy, we get meat, which we can consume for the much needed XP. We're gonna need so much of that. It heals me too. Hey there. So here's our stats page. It's pretty lousy. Here's a bunch of stuff we can do that's just like, what a UI, right? Like, <laughs> what the hell is this? They don't really tell you much other than the price. cave. Jellyfish gets angry at me when I chomp at it. big ones. Unfortunately, a lot of the game is this. You do get some decent weapons, so it's not always this crappy bite. But for a while it is. And it often is. Cucumbers. I don't have enough money yet for the good stuff. Enough Evo books. We got teeth. a lot of fish while I was at the labs down in uh, Florida. I guess two weeks ago. Touched a sea cucumber who was just chilling. And a um, guitar fish. Swimming around like a little puppy.
Ow. Oh, man. Big points, danger. Wow. Lucky bucks. Love to do it. have a charge which currently doesn't help me out at all I don't think I'm actually allowed to because I chose this weird asshole yeah now we can evolve again but there's some dead ends like that where you get stuck gotta be careful game as if it didn't just cost me 300 bucks back to the grind yep no more horn only three strikes with it and it's gone. It's not like I did. I used it on jellyfish. matters is what we chomp this game is almost cinematic it's not really concerned with gameplay very much at all like this mission it's just like it's not like a mario level or whatever you know where you're like doing a interesting task you're just you're just here checking the scenery out you're visiting you leave you don't really have a mission you can get some xp if you want it's kind of optional though i'm just making up for the horn i bought honestly just showing up here and leaving i think is all i'm supposed to do wall of bubbles I might need to upgrade actually to get out of here
I wonder what this does for me. We weird idiot looking shark. Yeah. Oh, we're fast. Nice. <laughs> Guys aren't worth nothing anymore. Yeah, some people like to to charge up their character this way. I'm no match for that fella. I don't know how much health he has. Oh, we dead. This is the thing that happens all the time in this game. It takes your XP away as if you're playing an MMO. <laughs> like, it's so punishing. I need a Jaws upgrade to be able to really hurt those guys. Forty. And five hundred big ones. Spend them immediately. I'm not there yet, I need eight hundred. If I could eat that guy, I'd probably be good. Business is pretty steep around here. Oh, my. Okay, I can kill him now. At this point in the game, you're really just going after the ones, the upgrades that I have. I don't think the other ones work very well. Just whatever one's the most expensive. Not really much thought about it, but that changes later a little bit. I wouldn't say it's deep, but it, <laughs> you do get some different fellas. Thank <laughs> you. 
Forge and cave. We're about done with fish already. Sharp. So nature's full of silly guys. points we get something <laughs> ability outrageous at least grinding is easy it does get more expensive later, too. Ow. fight. This evolution can't continue until this monster gets out of the way. That's just science. Bite a shark's nose. Get the big meat. Okay, well, one of them's in the wall. <laughs> what you gonna do about that? Nothing. Yeah, we become a doofus. No longer a champion, we have become this loser. Even better. Did 
that's the thing about evolution. Some people don't understand it. It's not, it's not necessarily better. It's just different. We've adapted to be a silly little guy after being the champion of the sea. Whoops. But now we get to be a silly little guy. That's fun. Oh no! Don't jump in the water, friend. Tail for jump and HP. Don't know what this is. something up there I can't get to because I don't jump very well. Get rid of the frog jaws. but similar creature to me. I feel like I'm on an optional route here. Whatever this all is. I need 200 bucks to get a decent chomper. kill me after I buy this. Evolution's all about locking your points in, you see. The creatures that survived, they just were good at Monopoly.
What's down here? I'm curious. I forget. I probably did this before. Land the boss. He meant what he said. Guy, did you see that embarrassing display? I'm sorry. Eight damage. Thanks for the third resurrection, it's fine. Mother Earth steps in and says, you know what? Dodo's cool, don't extinct a Dodo. That's what she's doing with my frog, more or less. That damage is crazy. I wonder how I dodged not being jumped on. I haven't figured it out yet. Fuck's sake. It's all about that stun lock. But I'm not locking him in yet. I can come back here too, I guess. Fuck. Holy shit, dude. I'll come back later. We need some upgrades first. Oh, is he actually the boss now? Let's grind. Probably just do it here. Works the best. Got the 200 that I lost back. Just not strong enough yet.
Undertale Genocide Run on, on underway. <laughs> I'm gonna do at least this land phase for I uh this rating. I have beaten it before. It's been a while. Oh they fall asleep, that's nice. My well, lizard doesn't know how to sleep. Only eat. value here now. We do. Probably just need to be tougher. Okay, that did nothing. But that's okay. Power tail. Maybe I take less than 8 damage now. I don't think I'm in any shape to beat this boss still. But there's probably a way to do it. It's kind of silly. The whole game's like this. I would say I did worse than usual in that. Damn. I'm sure I'm not even close. The generosity with which they give contact damage to this guy. We just need more stuff. And it's a lot of this. monsters no match if I were heavier I could jump on him instead Strongest jaws are so expensive. It's what I want, but I think I probably will try some other stuff first. Thank you. 
couldn't tell you what it does, but it's mine. I'll do this one. Looks good. Well, he's gotta eat enough for an entire weird species of absolute monsters, mutant things. Springtail. Credit hit for five instead of three. Takes six instead of eight damage. See if that does it. I think if I could jump on him for damage instead of biting, it would be a lot easier for me to not take a hit, too. Alright, I've squeezed out a bunch of upgrades here. One thousand, I'm just gonna get that one. Get the good tail. Probably. Assumption. Thorny and springy, it's got everything. Been eating for six straight days. The people who come to see this game get rated are gonna know exactly what it's gonna be <laughs> when I start playing it. Instead of like having footage that I'm just reviewing in post. Alright. That'll do it. done though probably maybe the first of many problems we'll run into when we play through this game honestly wouldn't surprise me if we get stuck on the shark for that matter Become meat. Mild value. 
It's like the game doesn't know how hard that boss actually is. <laughs> Must avenge and also bite everyone who talks to me. Walk up to a bear in the woods, tell him he's great. Get eaten. Domain of B. I've decided for no particular reason to kill all bees only. <laughs> and save that fella. Here, chomp him up. Got his ass. Next. Well, I saved one. Good, they went around in a circle. It's their mistake. I suspect that the big wasp monsters don't have the capacity to understand the problem with eating all of the food. But that's okay. We're here to weirdly defend nature. <laughs> Well, these bees might be very big. Hey, how you doing there, friend? Well, on the bright side, King Bee will die having stung you that way. Please eat me. thousand of meat. Yo, let's throw what's up. On Casper on the PlayStation, everybody loved it. I don't like these slugs. I guess the next thing to do is to get some armor here. Being too healthy.
I didn't see anything. Yeah, that is where we're supposed to go. Unless I actually do go back and tell the other one that he did. Seems unnecessary. I don't think they have a town I can go visit. Also, I bit them. They probably didn't like. Dinosaur jumps on a slug, loses. Oh, there we go. Okay, you are the ultimate life form. Everybody knows it. Damn. Never had a chance. Gonna need some more health. Fight machine gun B. Is doing this damage just harder than beating Woodman? Oh, they're going back in. I actually do have most of the upgrades. I'm just missing armor. The food delivery service right here. Vicious at night because they uh, they don't have any other ones to carry and they have uh, their attack out. Oh boy! Damn! Run for it! Again. Meat. 
much more meat do I need here? I got 2,000. That's probably first armor upgrade. I'll do it. monster thing I've created. I'm going for the increased body uh, power up here. For a thousand? Man. At least they don't hurt as much, but I can't even move against these guys. Yes. Allegedly bigger than before. And hey, now to fight Machine Gun B. Some days you're just dead. Again? just need the uh, the planet to become harmful for machine gun bees and then they can't exist anymore like it's too hot or something something that's not combat related because they are the ultimate fighting machine holy shit man <laughs> why is it so dangerous what were they thinking with these bosses I think losing my speed actually is hurting me here. He stopped listening to me. I almost had the B. My faster form would have worked there. I wouldn't have got stuck. Increasing my body size made me slower. That time it just decided it was gonna shoot nine times, eight damage a shot. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't know if life is gonna make it. I'm gonna have to try again. Almost got blasted there. Jump, you jerk. No. Why didn't you jump? No. It takes so many bites, too. My clunky lizard, he runs out of stamina or something. He just can't keep jumping like that. This planet will have nothing left but bees on it. Just bees, the only form of life. This is fine. If he shoots us, we're dead anyway. No. Why does it... Why does it even do any of this? It's, it's crazy. Well, it's really cheap to undo the evolution that you've done. Like, it's like 20 or something, I think. I can slow my, uh... I mean, it's armor. It's like 15 health. I hate to give it up. But I could just throw it away if I can't beat this boss without changing that. So far, so good. It's getting higher. Hey! First try B, defeated. Turned into the meat somehow. I love B meat. Twelve hundred measly points. He thought the bee was bad. Check out this sand line over here. Apparently. True ultimate life form. Indestructible. Oh my god. Well, I think I'll stop after this world. We're getting there. Oh, man. Four damage no matter what. I don't really understand what the green crystal does. They said it reverts your form or something, but it ain't. <laughs> it didn't do anything. I'm through.
It's over for plants and insects. We'll never see them again. Damn. So much. Shit. I'm losing. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do to win these fights. But we don't really have any other upgrades I can do. We're at the end of our line here. Despite what he's saying, we don't actually have access to reptiles yet, I don't think. dive bomb him with the jaws that's the ticket <laughs> nice off-screen money meat So chop. <laughs> what is this thing? All right. There's so many dots on the map. This is time trends. Hell, Queen Bee. Seems unfortunate for me in my life. You know when Dracula shows up in Castlevania and he's big and scary and he just goes, <laughs> and he fires a couple fireballs. Then come in like a freaking hawk with a bunch of fangs. Shooting bee shit all over the place. I don't, I don't even know. They're, they're not... Stingers, their horns or something. Damn. I'm not jumping high enough to bite you. continue to be too slow to win I wonder if the armored body would even help here at this point I always start in the fight with losing half of my life before I can even see the enemy Misfortune.
I almost got you in the loop there. This game's all about chomping. Big time. More B meat. <laughs> okay, a little bit different than B meat this time. Okay, here is your new body. Since you killed the bee, <laughs> it's just you turn into the most harmless moron <laughs> that there is. Just gonna play a little bit of the dinosaurs zone. We're finally presented with real choices, but um Mobility and stun locking is what matters in this game, so. Five hundred bucks, man, damn. We ain't ever gonna get there. Excellent butt. have to account for the crystal that shows up sometimes and helps out specific creatures. Everyone else has to exist normally. Alright. Let's rate this game. 
So it will be a long journey through dinosaur land. I think it's fun in a stupid way, but not that fun. It's fun if you like to grind, for sure. <laughs> it got your number there. Uh, it's very unique. Stage design is a weakness of it, kinda, but it's not too bad. I'd say controls are one of the problems with it. Looks fine. I'm happy with three on the sound of music. It's fascinating. It's bizarrely unapproachable. It's like four out of five difficulty like you can win you just gotta learn how i don't know if i want to call this a bad game or not i guess i do because of what you have to do to play it is grind and stun lock and all this other stuff like the game's mechanics themselves don't really help you out with that all they do is reduce how much uh, stun locking you need to do but I think it's better than a lot of these games like it's more interesting than Chuck Rock the other caveman game here it's more interesting than uh, Skull Jagger. Bubsy's mostly more competent uh, in its scope. I'll put it there. That's Evo. 